Adam. Today's special guest is Valency Electrons, also known as Valerie Electro. Hi, nice to meet you, Ellen. Everyone is curious about the one mind-boggling question. How do valency electrons affect chemical bonding? Well, it starts off with chemical bonding. Ionic bonds happen because of electron negativity and how strongly an electron is attracted to an atom. Some elements are more electronegative than others. For example, my friend fluorine is super electronegative. Stay away from that guy. <laughs> Ionic bonds only happen between nonmetals and metals, where electrons are given to nonmetals. Wow, that's pretty neat. So tell me about covalent bonds. Covalent bonds happen between nonmetals and nonmetals. Both are electronegative, which is the reason why we must share electrons with bonds. <laughs> Electrons in a polar covalent bond, however, are shared unequally. That makes sense, and the electrons in a non-polar covalent bond are shared equally. So that leaves us with metallic bonds, which occurs between two metals. No one wants the electrons, so they just keep throwing them in the air while they just keep falling back down. Yeah, they sit into a, a lattice. The electrons are float around a sea of electrons. That's why they are best electrical conductors. Superb! We'll get back to you after this commercial break. Are you tired of being bored? Yes. Are you tired of being thirsty? Yes. Well, then the dihydrogen monoxide bond 3000 is meant for you. Just look at how entertaining it is. <laughs> look, look at how polar dihydrogen monoxide is. Straight from Seoul, Korea. <laughs> what an amazing colorless and odorless liquid that helps sustain life. Its boiling point is 212 degrees Fahrenheit. And the more polar something is, the higher the boiling point. Wow, amazing! Oh, welcome back! Now that you've told us how chemical bonding works, how do valency electrons like you affect chemical bonding? First of all, noble gases are the most stable. Other elements want to have an octet to be stable like them. They achieve this by bonding with other atoms. Oh, I see. And I suppose that valency electrons determine the stability of an element, which determines the electronegativity, which determines the type of bond an element can form. Yeah, valence electrons determine the chemical property of an element. It all makes sense now. Yeah, so basically the valence electron determines how an element will react with another element or chemical properties. Valence electrons control whether an element forms a covalent, ionic, or metallic bond. That's all the time we have today on The Curious Adam. Tune in next year on February 31st for Season 2. This is our sequel. I'm Tina. And I'm Kelsey. Hi, sequel. <laughs> <laughs>
Are you tired of being bored? No. Are you tired of being thirsty? No. Well, then the dihydrogen monoxide bond 3000 is meant for you. Just look at how entertaining it is. This? Look at how polar dihydrogen monoxide is. This? What an amazing colorless and odorless liquid that helps sustain life. Its boiling point is 212 degrees Fahrenheit. And the more polar something is, the higher the boiling point. Wow, amazing. Oh, do I? <laughs> this was Made nice. from Korea. Oh, yeah, I yeah. <laughs> One, go. 당신은 찔러 도는 비건 하신가요? 네. 당신은 목말린 전체의 비건 하신가요? 네. 그는 모든 당신을 위한 것입니다. 담은 구석이 얼마나 잠이 봐. 폴의 물이 얼마나 봐. 어떤 생물을 유지하는 데 도미 날린 무세미 최위 아이제. When do I raise it up? You know what? <laughs> huh? Hold on. Let me let's let's change this. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Tyson and Jibu do no Kibu Tyson Gayo. Tyson Oh yeah. What? It's the question. You want to push it? Like, thirsty? <laughs> See that? I think. Like, I don't know. Okay, so you were pushing over. Like, I thought, like, I think I hear the level. <laughs> Why isn't it going down? <laughs> you just not, you just not weigh that much? I don't know. <laughs> Do you see me? Yeah. <laughs> I think you're so weird. <laughs> Wait, let me try. I think she can do it. Maybe I'm doing something. Hold this. Mm. No, this is all on film. It is? Yeah, let me let me stop it. Wait, don't video. 